Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite series, Guess the Elo. This is the worst episode I've ever recorded, not in terms of the quality, although maybe that as well, but in terms of my guesses. I've never been more wrong about all of the ratings of all of the games. So I hope you enjoy, but before that, this episode is sponsored by Babbel. You know what I want to do when the pandemic is over? Travel. You know what I can't do until the pandemic is over? Travel. But I can learn the language of the place that I'm trying to go, and that's why I love Babbel. Babbel is an amazing language learning platform, and it's made learning French super easy for me. You see, my girlfriend Lucy speaks Mandarin Chinese, and I speak Russian and a little bit of Spanish. But we wanted to learn a language together, so we chose French. And so Babbel has lessons from over 150 teachers and growing more and more. The lessons themselves are like 10 to 15 minutes long, super short and super fun. It's also not the same sentence over and over again. You know, those can get extremely boring. Babbel also has real life dialogue. They have games, they have live classes, and they have podcasts you can listen to. And so after Babbel, je peux parler un peu français maintenant. And I'm excited to learn some more. So Babbel has a lot of free content, but the offer they've extended us today is getting up to 65% off. All you gotta do, click the link in the description and you can get learning today. All right, back to the video. Pawn to e4 is a good move. C6, knight of three, d5, d... This is a really, really high level variation. This is considered the meta. This is what Leela likes against the Karo Khan. And uh, here, Grandmaster started playing Queen C7 to cover this and to tr not, you know, you can also play Bishop G4 and um, do something like this with E5, but white is always pretty comfortable here. So DE, Queen trade, yeah, and, and this difference is considered better for white. But we're about to find out, okay, and white immediately is worse. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Knight d2, Pancata in chat subs and says, uh, I have seen Levy naked. Uh, sir, or madam, uh, I know who you are because you apologized to me in a Reddit DM about a comment that you wrote. So you're a nice person, please don't fake troll. E6, h3, bishop h5, king e1. Okay, so white, I don't know what white is doing. Maybe white thinks that if they bring the king back to the home square, they can castle. That's actually not allowed. Uh, so bishop b4. I don't, I don't like this move because there's no real reason to move the bishop that far if it can just be targeted. Uh, we just play bishop e7. Bishop c5 is also not a favorite because you can just be a target. These tempo winning moves on your pieces, you've got to be very careful about. So that's why you should go bishop e7 because it's passive, but it's massive. You see, now you have to move again. Now you're gonna... Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, that's not as good because even though that wins Tempe, um, now you just have weak pawns. So knight d7 is, of course, the best move. We're playing short castle. Oh, there's also this... In my mind, I thought white did this already. Yeah, well, then just take the pawn. Okay. Okay, so here, black realizes that they can take the pawn and attack the rook, and that's a very good move, except they can just do it in one move. They can just go here. Rook b1 is actually the worst move that white can play. White cannot lose any more material in any faster of a way. Rook b1 is the worst move in white's position by far. It's not even close. There are like 30 to 40 possible moves, and Rook B1 is the worst. And let's remember that there is a rap on YouTube about my, my Rook B1. Rook B1, Rook B1, what the hell is that move? What even is your plan? I have no idea. This move just loses a Rook, but instead they took the pawn. 92. Okay, now Black has two bishops and a pawn advantage. Good, open file. White just chugging along here. After CB5, Rook B5, will they find Bishop D3 or do they have a... Bishop E3? Why don't I use Lee Chess? I don't support communism. Bishop 2E4. That's a joke. Re I know you were going to type something, YouTube commenters. Relax. Twitch, I know. Twitch, Twitch gets me. You know what I'm saying? Twitch. I used to teach at a, at a school and the, f the five and six-year-olds there were taught to do this. 
when they agreed with a point another kid made. It was very cute. They would, they would all go like this. They'd be like, I agree with you. It's cool. B6. They also had a sign to go to the bathroom so they wouldn't just call out. It was very futuristic education. A3. Bishop G... What is that? Why? I mean, you can't take it with a knight because the rook hangs. Oh, removing the guard. Easy, easy, easy. Removing the guard. Like, the most basic removal of the guard. Oh, that's a fancier version. Okay, okay. A little bit fa- Okay. But then your bishop gets trapped. All right. Good move. Nice. Okay, bishop G... Now, that move, rook B1, actually makes sense. What... What was wrong with this? What was wrong with this? Why didn't you just... Okay, whatever. This is still scary because all white needs is to win this pawn. Oh, that's all white needs. Or hang a rook again. Does black have a blind spot? Yeah, this time they did it. White hanging the rook two times to the diagonal. Well, we've identified a blind spot. And white resigns. <sighs> okay, so this opening... With this quality of moves after... Makes me think 11-1200, maybe? Maybe 11-1200? But... Would an 11-1200 play rook b1? Maybe not. High 900? High 900? Some very... Well, but then it, went, it was normal for a little bit. Kind of normal. Then good, good find. Good find. Uh, I'm going to say 1,000 to 1,100. That's, that's, that's my guess. That's, that's just not who played the game. 700? Are you kidding me? 700s played like that? Damn! That was like a 30 minute game too! Gosh darn it! Wow! The Rook blind spot gives it away? Yeah, but like they played well! Trust me, there are people who are watching this rated below 710 who are sitting there like, bro, they played like 25 times better than I do. My games are usually just who takes the bigger poop. And then you compare and then it's like, wow. Wow, well done. Well done. Well done. That was... Well done. Oh, gosh. Another poop reference. Sorry. E4. I mean, wh what else? I mean, you know, you, you understand... Defecation evens the playing field of humanity. You could be rich, you can be poor, right? You can be, you can have certain handicaps in your life versus people who have everything. But pooping humbles everybody. We all poop. So, right? E5. Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4. Ooh. We've seen this. Huh? Knight G5, huh? We've seen this. We've seen this over here. D4, great move. That's a great move by Gotham Sub. If your opponent doesn't fight for the center, you gotta fight for it. ED. Knight D4. Knight E5. So the move Knight E5 uh, threatens the bishop, and obviously White saw that and moved the bishop. But the wrong bishop and hung the bishop. Wow. This right here already gives me so much information about this game. Um, fascinating. Fascinating. Knight takes c4. Um, probably already like sub a thousand, I would imagine. b3. But you see, white is really principled. White didn't castle or finish developing. White understood that a knight in the center should be attacked. And they attacked it. I love it. And they keep attacking it. And now black got too fancy. They went danger levels, but don't danger your level or your level will get dangered. You understand? Now g3. Oh my gosh. C3? Please don't play C3. Don't. See, white blocked one pawn with a check, so white blocked the next pawn with a check. But now knight C3 is actually good. Oh, that's awful. That's a terrible move. Move the queen. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And now? Now we have a good thing going here. G5 is just take it. Just, what are you doing? What is, what even is? Yo, if you gave me... 50 guesses, I wouldn't guess this move. I could be out of legal moves to guess here for white, and a4 would not be one of them. That is such an illogical move, it absolutely fascinates me. I mean, white was, like, playing super well for a beginner up until that point. Like, knight b5. Go for the goodies, nobody can guard you there. 
Like, literally, nobody. King d8, you just take the king. Rook c3, you take the rook. I mean... Okay, a4. Nice! Great! Rook b1, rook b1, what the hell is that? Well, actually, rook b3 is hanging, so I guess white was like, I don't want to lose this pawn. Uh-huh. Okay, that is definitely a free pawn. Yes, that's also a free pawn. What? I would... This is great. You go back and then attack the rook and here. Although there's rook a2. I love this game. This is such a great game. <laughs> Hiding. Take it. Take a free pawn. Yes. Mate on the back rank. Oh, check. And black resigns. Why did black resign? Just play this. You don't know if white is going to take it. You know, white could go here and hang the rook. Wow. What a game. This is live. Yes. What, this? No, no. This is a simulation. No, we're not live right now. Chestar34 says, is this, this is live? No, no, this is not live. No. No, this is a replay. No. Okay, um... 600? Getting some 600 vibes, maybe? So much of this game was so chaotic. You think lower than that? Wow. I mean, Rook H5 is like a pretty cerebral move. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna say 550 to 650, that's my range. Yeah, uh, this could be in the 400s though, it could be. Let's see, this could be the 400s. Twit. 1200s? Really? You guys are. You guys are 1200s? You guys are. Y'all 1200s, huh? Yeah, really. You, you, you didn't just get your friend to play you in a chess game to make some garbage and then. Alright, this is what I'm gonna say. There are two possibilities here. This person, Norky, got their friend to help them play a terrible game. Or, if this is actually you playing, um, delete chess.com account. Delete it. Just go, just burn it. Like Kevin Durant told Craig Sager about his suit, just burn it. You go home, you burn it. You burn, head to toe, burn it all. Then, call the internet service provider, get rid of that too. Call them up, no more internet. No more internet. Check to see if they're friends on chess.com. Oh yeah, we're gonna go full detective here. I like that idea. Norky, are you friends with Trotting School? No. You are not. Well. That's cool. Um, yep. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. Wow, that was... Um, that was good. That was good. That was a uh, totally legitimate game by two twelve hundreds. That was good. Hi Norky, I roasted you. Yeah, don't don't actually do. You, you can keep playing chess. Wait, Norky, did you did, you gotta be nice, Nor Norky? Hold on, hold on. You gotta be completely honest with me. Was that a staged game? You gotta be very honest. Very honest with me, please. Please be honest. For the sake of humanity, the sake of humanity, that game was not staged. All right? There you have it. Understand that if you say something in Twitch chat, if that was, if you say something in Twitch chat, you can be tried for perjury. It is legally binding. Whatever you say in Twitch chat, that's not actually true. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Your internet service provider will be hearing from you shortly. All right, Sicilian defense. Grand Prix! Grand Prix attack. We take those. So here in the Grand Prix, white tries to castle short and go for a quick f5. Black usually plays a6, b5, b4. Puts something on d4. Oh, but white shouldn't play d4. This is how I used to play this position when I was a child. Uh, I... I, don't, I don't know, but thank you for the 700 bits. Oh, what is this? 
Okay, so White played the Grand Prix attack and then played the I have no idea what's going on here. I don't... What? B2. Yep. Check. Move King. Yo, Bishop C7 threatens mate. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Uh-huh. That's another free pawn with the bishop. Okay, so black is up three pawns. Right now, I'm getting black is a lot stronger there than their opponent vibes. That's what I'm getting. I think black is a couple, hun couple hundred points higher. Rook b4. I like that. I like that. Okay. Take. I'll just take it. Move the king to f7. Oh, that's even better. Oh, oh. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Rook to e4. Jeez Louise. Apples and peas. Wow. Wow. Is black a grandmaster? Okay, black, black is a titled player, right? Oh, suddenly, suddenly black is not converting this that well. Wow. That's a long TTS. That's a long TTS. TTS is hard to read out during its mate. It, oh, it's, it's mate. Okay, it's still mate after rook takes queen. Right? Okay, very good. Um, um, what the hell was that game, bro? What? What was that? What was that? And um, the person in the TTS... Asked about getting their game submitted. It's not, not complex. Someone in the chat will help you out. You just have to be in the Discord and Twitch. Link it. Boom, bang, bang. Okay. Um, so, let's look at how White played, okay? White played probably like a 600. 6700. If even. If even that. Like 6700. Six, six, Black played like a GM. Like, I would have played most of these moves. So, I'm gonna guess, like, 6-700, because that's how white played. I don't have any other accurate guess. Um, yeah, I'm not a GM. I, I know. I, listen, you don't have to remind me. Thanks. Th thank you. I, I know. I know. Relax. Shh, 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 shh. It's like when I got a 94, my parents would, would get mad at me. So, that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, oops. Sorry, Norky. Get out of here. Okay, cool. So black is 1290 and white is 1270. White is 1270? Well, go figure. I mean, you know, we got... I'm just kidding. They actually have a... Listen, the last time I made it... Okay, I once made a joke about the chess bra flare in a Guess the Elo episode. Okay, I made a, I made a joke because someone had a, a chess bra flare, right? And then the next time I was somewhere, I saw some insane hate. Like, it was like Reddit. I don't know where it was. But there was like a collective of people from the chess bra community like, Gotham, such a prick. I was like, guys, relax. So, calm down. They have a great series for building habits for beginners. But um, let me tell you something. This 1270 also needs to disconnect his internet. Because I, I don't know what it is on 1200s today. Y'all bugging, bro. Y'all, the, the two worst 1200s I've ever seen in my life. I've seen a lot of 1200s. You two are number one, number two. Worst 1200s I've ever seen. Ever. Um, and I mean that in a loving way. I mean that in a p parental way, like get your, get your ish together. Okay? Get your ish together ASAP. Because I, I don't know what it is today. Whew. Anyway. That was not good. Also, that player was Russian. Russians play slowly, develop their pieces, play positionally. D6. London. Love it. G6. Nice. Yeah. Oh, well, I wouldn't go there. I mean, Queen D2, E4, F3, G4, H4, H5. Okay, 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 good. Nice. Yes, this is exactly how I want you guys to fight Kings Indians. Yep. H4. 
H4. Why are you... Why did you play A3? Why'd you play A3? No, come here. Come here. Now, why'd you play A3? What does A3 do? What does it do? Okay, now we just have an endgame. I mean, you see, you missed your chance to attack, and now you have no pieces on the board. You still have a pawn, though. Still have a pawn. Prevent knight before... Yeah, and okay, okay, A3 prevents knight before. Let's just say this is here. What does that do? Is it going to go here and get taken? Is it going to go here and get taken? What's it doing? What, what's it going to do? Stop the knight from what? From what? It didn't want to go there in the first place. I don't understand. It's like putting an anti-aircraft uh, bazooka in a parking garage. It's going to land at the airport. It is, no, it is never going there. You don't need to do that. Cars are going to park in the garage. There's no, no, no airplane's going to go there. You don't need the defense system for that. Jeez. But, you know, white is actually a genius. So now white is a pawn up. Knight C take it. Good, good, good. Okay, now you understand everybody. So here it's probably about plus 1.7. Because... Oh, it's actually even more than that. It's plus 2. Because white is a pawn up, but also this is damaged. Slow play it, disallow the knight from coming in, f3, maybe f3, e4, get the bishop out, get the rook out. All right. Nice. See, what I don't like is knight g4 is possible, so I would play f3 here. I wouldn't even, I'd play f3. Yes, yes, good, yes, yes, yeah. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trade the rook. I don't know what that move does. Doesn't matter. Trade the rook. Trade the rook. Trade. You didn't even have to trade the rook. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's check. Oh, bring it back. Bring it back, throw it back. Yes, knight c5. Yes, yes, yes. A4, 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 a4. Play a4. Play. Thank you. Yes, yes. I don't. Oh, it's mate. Oh. You, you, oh. Damn. So I'm not gonna lie. Uh, white played like Hikaru, except a3. Like, straight up, like, you just played like a GM, except this is, this is not a good move. I don't know why you're playing A3. Go for an attack. Okay. Wow. You played really well. Damn. You played super well, dude. Wow. 1300? Like, 1300? Because you understand E5 is not a good move. E5 is not good at all. It's just a really, really bad move. And I don't think anybody beyond a certain level would just blunder a pawn to a simple capture chain. And knight c6 gives away a lot too. Because it's not a good move. Maybe like 1200. 11, 1200. 11 to 1200 is my guess. That's my guess. It's in that range. It, it is 11 to 1200. Damn, bro! You're 940! Nice! You played really well! Wow, that's really good. You played very well. For a uh, damn, I am wrong on every guess this episode. Have I gotten a single guess right this episode? Wait a minute. 1200, 1200, and what about this? I've been wrong. Every single, every single guess has been completely wrong. Damn, damn, damn. Wow, Chris. Chris at the peak rating, too. Look at that. Damn, Chris. Beating up the Brits. Bloody hell. All right. Here we go. Back. Maybe I'll get one guess right in this episode. Okay, here we go. E4. C5. Sicilian defense. Sicilian defense. Here we go. Knight F3. Why? What is... What? Well, now you lose! Now... Okay, I like this. I like, okay. We're just gonna ignore that whole opening. 
It's a position with no C pawns. I like this move. D5 is a, uh, E5 is a good move. Good, 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 good. Okay, bishop E3. I'm not so... I'm not... I don't hate this move, but it does open up your rook. Now black should probably castle, right? Okay. Now what white should do is utilize this wall to go queen E1, queen G3. Line everything up this way and go for an attack. Or push in the center. But see, black wants the center opened. Black wants the center opened. You understand? Because black has the bishops. Now white is going to play e5 again. Of course you're going to play e5 again because you played it once. B b we, have, we have monkey brain. e5 worked once, so of course in the future I must play it again. Okay, now can we actually do something except push in the center? No, we are still playing in the center. Now knight takes d4 just wins. Because normally in this position you play bishop takes h7, but you're checked. So this is just losing. But okay, rook c8, rook c1, wrong direction. This should be one is a good move. Queen d3, of course. Queen d3, threatening mate. Threatening, okay. Stopped. Yeah, now white, now, 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 now this is problematic. Now this is problematic. Yeah, so white ran out of ideas. Gave away the center, gave away the c-file, gave away the bishop pair. And played h3 because they didn't know what to do. Now, how does black play this for an advantage? Okay, that move does nothing. All right, h3, a3. Don't know what to do. Play h3, a3. Okay. Yeah, I mean, white has no idea what to play here. Um, you know, me neither. Um, okay, this is just two people who have no idea what to do. Now, um, uh, maybe what you can do is try to play bishop 2, e4. You could do that by playing queen d2, rook e1, bishop e4. That's one idea. Um, you can also try to maneuver the knight somewhere, like to g5, to f7, but you need to guard this. Okay, okay, pawn play. Oh, nice! That does something. So black is still a little bit better, but this bishop sucks poopy. And also you can play h4, h5. Okay, reroute. Okay, knight e4, nice move. Okay, queen's a little bit claustrophobic. Maybe queen f4. Yes, but then there's check. Damn. Queen f7? Knight f6? That's mate. It's mate in two. Oh, not anymore. Uh, h4 to go knight g5 check and win the queen. Or that. h4 to go knight g5 check. I... I... Okay. Now you can't even play that, so you gotta go like queen here. That doesn't work at all, because you take. That, yeah, that, oh. Yeah, no, so now black should win the a-pawn and then push the, uh, the a-pawn. Yep. And, oh, that doesn't work. And white resigns. Wow, someone just straight up submitted a game that they lost. Respect. Okay, um, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what happened here. This... Now... I'm th Oh, man. I think like 8900. Here's why. Here's why. Play was a bit too simplistic. A little bit too simplistic. You understand? A little, little... Very basic. Very one movie. One movie. Like, one, one move here. And also, like, they didn't spot one move tactics. But there was no blunders. There was no... There was very little sense of plan making. <sighs> Seven, eight hundred? Like, they, you know, they, they, they kind of did some stuff, but then, yeah, very, very solid, but very one movie. You know, like, Black was reacting a lot and sort of stumbled into a winning position. Yeah, I'm gonna say 7800. Hi, hi. Low 700. High 600, low 700. Eighteen, eighteen, eighteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds. They were eighteen hundred. They were eighteen hundred. Eighteen fifty versus eighteen seventy. Is this the right game? Do I have the right game? Wow. Wow. Oh my God. 
No way. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting.